Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you guys an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you grabbed a snack, stayed for a while and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. As you can tell by the title of the video, we are going to be talking about some beauty makeup brands that uh, understood the assignment when it came to coming out with a foundation and coming out with a concealer and making sure they are both absolutely amazing. Sometimes you love the foundation of a brand, but you don't love the concealer and vice versa. You love the concealer, but the foundation could be better. So I am going to give you a list here of some brands that I found uh, kind of hit it out of the park when it comes to both of the concealer and the foundation. So if you would like to find out what beauty brands I'm talking about, then just go ahead and keep on watching. All right, guys, before we start talking about these beauty brands and uh, their concealer and foundation combos that I absolutely adore, why don't I tell you real quick a couple of the items that I have on my face for the eyes, which I did go for a more natural kind of look today. I am wearing the new Pillow Talk Dreams Quad from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm pretty sure the review on this is going to be up before this video. For the lips, because I have a feeling some of you might ask, is one of the new Merit lipsticks. This is in the shade Cabo, and I just put it on my lips and kind of smudged it with my finger. All right, now we can jump into talking about these foundation and concealer combos that these makeup brands got right. The first one is the one that I'm wearing, and I'm not going to talk about these in any part particular order. I'm just going to pick combo up and talk about it. It is the Kosas. This is the Revealer Foundation and the Revealer Concealer. This is a fairly new release and when I decided to review this foundation, I picked concealer as well. And let me tell you, um, these are a very very good combo. So if you're somebody who likes a full coverage beat, this is definitely a foundation for you because as you can see, you can make it look pretty natural, my skin but better, but this can also be built up to medium coverage. So I definitely do have to remember to use this with a sponge, which I did today and you'll see in the demo, because if not, I feel like it can get heavy real quick. It is super light. I barely feel it on my skin. Um, the undertone is a tiny bit yellow and I feel like a lot of their foundations and concealers do run yellow. But these seem to be working okay for me as far as shade wise. I don't feel like they look horrible. I do feel like they blended it fairly well. For the foundation, I picked it up in the shade 210 and for the concealer, I picked it up in the shade 060 and I do feel like these go fairly decent on my skin. Um, but yeah, this combo, Kosa's got it right when it comes to the foundation and the concealer. They wear absolutely beautifully. I have no issues. Every single time I have worn both of these together, I, at the end of the night, I'm like, okay, my skin looks great. All right, the next combo, uh, if you don't like my skin, but better type of products and you are a full coverage queen, then I don't think you might like these. Um, you might have already tried one or the other and thought, no, this is just not for me. And that is the Milk Makeup. This is the Sunshine Under Eye Tint Brightener and the Sunshine Skin Tint. I feel like these are underrated. I have seen a couple of people talked about these. Julia Adams, for sure. Who else? Oh, uh, Patty Alonso. And I love these. Every single time I pick both of these up and put them on my skin. I think to myself, wow, why don't I pick these up more often? They are super lightweight. They do offer some coverage and uh, I just feel like they look absolutely stunning. My skin really agrees with them. I, I guess it honestly just really depends on your skin type. But for me, these are beautiful. I love them. For the concealer, I got it in shade, what shade is this? Two. 
shade two. And for the skin tint, I picked it up in shade sand. They are just a tiny bit light for me, but I can definitely make them work. And like I said, they just look so beautiful on my skin. I need to pick these up more often. I think these are going to get a lot of use out of me this summer. You're probably sitting there wondering if I'm going to include some drugstore or affordable products on this list and I am. First one is Maybelline. I am a normal skin type with an oily t-zone and matte foundations I do tend to enjoy from time to time. This is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless uh, Fit Me Foundation and this is the Maybelline Super Stay Active Wear Concealer. So this is a favorite in a lot of people's makeup routine. They have been using this for years and years and years and um, I see why because it's absolutely beautiful and every time I do end up picking this up and I use it, I'm just like, gosh. Maybelline got it right when it comes to this foundation. Now, when I tried out this concealer, it impressed me because it's a good one. It really is. I don't think a lot of people enjoy it. And a lot of the reason I feel is because it's a tiny bit on the watery side, but if you just let it sit just a tiny bit, it actually does provide a decent coverage. And I would also say to use a brush instead of a sponge to make sure you get the most coverage possible. But these two together, I love them. Maybelline got it right when it comes to these two. I have shade 22 for the concealer and I have shade 220 for the foundation. Definitely good drugstore favorites here. I don't know if it's my top one, but it's close. All right, the next combo is my absolute favorite combo of all times and probably the most expensive one. <laughs> And it is the Chanel Ultra Latent Foundation and Concealer. For the concealer, I have shade 20. And for the foundation, I have B30. You guys, when I say it is absolutely worth it to invest money in these, trust me. Oh my goodness, the finish. Beautiful. The wear of it. Beautiful. And I'm talking about both the concealer and the foundation. It just looks so beautiful. Every single time I wear these, I get so many compliments on my skin. Even my now husband, in case you guys didn't know, I did end up getting married. <laughs> he compliments my skin every single time I wear this combo. So that says a lot because it's not often when you hear a man say, wow, your, you know, your foundation looks really good. But gosh, this is and will be my favorite combo ever because Chanel got it right when it comes to the formulation of this foundation. The only small complaint I have is the shade range. They need to get better with the shade range. And I think this is the Comfort Always Finish Foundation. So I think it's more of like the satin finish type of foundation because I do know they have a couple of other different finishes in the line, but this is the All Day Comfort Flawless Finish. Money well spent right here. The next combo is one that I used for a whole week. Was it last week? Today is Sunday, so a week ago. I started this little project where I pick a foundation and concealer combo that I'm going to wear for the week. So basically when I do my makeup, that is a combo that I will be using all for that week. And that is the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop and the Fenty Beauty Bright Fix. Oh my goodness, I forgot how much I enjoy both of these products. Now, uh, these are definitely my skin but better type of products. So again, if you're a full coverage queen, you might not enjoy these as much as I enjoy them. But these two together, match made in heaven and with summer coming, I feel like I might be picking these up a lot. And because of this project is the reason why I came up with the concept of this video because this week's pick were Charlotte Tilbury. And even though I enjoy Charlotte's Tilbury airbrush foundation, the Magic Away concealer is not 
the best. I definitely have to do specific things to make it work and not make my eyes look super just wrinkly and dry, but I do. I get it to work decently. It's like in my head, I was thinking like, gosh, Charlotte Tilbury, this foundation is beautiful, but this concealer sucks. And that is where this idea came for this video. It's a good price. She did a really good job. And I believe there is 25 or more shades available. So there is a good variety. And I feel like she got the undertones really good. I wear shade 10 for the skin tint. And I wear shade 07 Deep Butter for the Bright Fix. For this one, it's supposed to be more of a under eye brightening corrector type of product. It's very light light and you do have to use a tiny bit of product so a little bit goes a long way but this duo together is beautiful and with summer coming i definitely do feel like if you haven't tried them try them out and i think you will love them for the summer all right for this next combo i feel like everybody talked about this line when it first launched and it kind of is just out of the spotlight but the products are still really good and i still truly enjoy them every time i pick them up and that is the color pop pretty fresh skin tint and the color pop pretty fresh hyaluronic creamy concealer i did try the original concealer from color pop and it was okay but it was a little mattifying and drying so my under eyes didn't uh, like it too too much and i did also try the pretty fresh foundation but my original uh, pick was not a good shade for me and i donated that and i just never picked up a new one but every single Single time I use this skin tint, I love how my skin looks. This concealer is actually a really nice concealer. It is very hydrating, probably because of the hyaluronic acid in it. But every time I use these together, I absolutely love how my complexion looks. They are super, super affordable, and you can buy them at Ulta, which is also awesome. So a great combo. And with summer coming, I do feel like these two are going to be great they just came out with a pressed powder so if you want to be even more lightweight on your makeup try the concealer with the powder and i think you will also have a winner so color pop they have a lot of good hits and this combo is definitely one of them i wear shade medium 11 n for this i can also get away with medium 10 n and for the concealer this is my lighter one this is light 45 w and i think i have medium 90 w yeah but love these great if you haven't tried them try them out Okay, these next two items are from an affordable brand that you used to be able to grab at Ulta, but the last few times I checked, I did not see the brand at Ulta. And that is Catrice. I have here the True Skin Hydrating Foundation. It has hyaluronic acid and it claims to be a long wearing foundation. I also have here the True Skin High Coverage Concealer, also with hyaluronic acid, and it states that it's waterproof. Every time I wear these together, I think my skin looks absolutely beautiful. This is definitely more of a medium to almost full coverage foundation, um, the concealer as well. So I do go light hand when I use these just because I'm not a full coverage kind of girl. If you go light handed, these look so beautiful. Like literally my skin looks flawless. It looks like I have a filter on and they actually wear very, very well well i do know that tati rustbrook i think it was the foundation that she talked about and she made it go viral and some people said yes yeah, they agreed and some people don't i for sure feel like catrice did a good job with both the concealer and the foundation for the foundation i have the shade 30 neutral sand it's a tiny bit light for me and for the concealer i have it in 010 cool cashmere it's also a tiny bit light for me but somehow i make them work so i definitely give kudos to catrice for these products because i have truly enjoyed both of these together i think they are a good match all right guys i'm about to edit this video and this is why i look different because it's a different day and i realized that i did not include this duo so nars is definitely a brand that does complexion well i do feel like all varieties of skin types have a favorite foundation from nars well 
right now my absolute favorite one is the light reflecting foundation and i do feel like their concealer um i believe this is like the hydrating one i forget what it's called these two together are so good if you have a favorite nars foundation and you pair it with their concealer it is like a match made in heaven because this concealer is so good and i'm super ecstatic that i decided just to go ahead and purchase a mini one so that i can experience the formula which i love and as soon as i finish this off i'm going to buy the big regular size because it is that good this foundation is that good absolutely love it every single time i put this in my under eyes I just cannot believe how smooth they look. So I definitely feel that NARS hit it out of the park when it comes to their foundations and their concealer. All right, the next brand is a luxury brand. And um, I feel like a lot of people would definitely agree that both of these products are amazing. And that is the Dior Matte Forever Foundation and the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. I enjoy both of these products so much. This foundation is absolutely beautiful. The only downfall is that it dries down so quick that I literally have to work in sections. But other than that, Finish is beautiful and lasts all day. It looks gorgeous on my skin. Like I cannot say good enough things about this foundation. The concealer is also such a good product. I definitely prefer this over that new Dior um, backstage concealer that I recently reviewed. Yeah, that one was just no. <laughs> but this one, it is so good. It blends out like a dream effortlessly it is lightweight i just both of these products together amazing uh Amazing. For the foundation, I have it in 3N. It is definitely a tiny bit dark for me, but summer is pretty much here and I will be getting lots of sun, so I think I'll be okay with this. And I have 1.5N for the concealer. I've been meaning to pick up a 2N, but as you can tell, I have definitely, um, it's like up to here, used this quite a bit. And that's because I mix the concealer in with both of the foundations that I have from Dior to make it match my shade a tiny bit better. But yeah, this combo, mm, match made in heaven. It's not better than my Chanel, but it's it's a close one. All right, just this one and another combo and we're done with this video. The next one is a um, new discovery and that is because they released this new foundation that I honestly truly enjoy. And I'm surprised not too many people are talking about it. I think the only other person I heard talk about it was Juicy Jazz. And that is the Joa Crystal Glow Primation. So it's supposed to be an all-in-one foundation and their Wand Me Up Concealer. I don't even know. This is in shade Fair. They didn't have too many choices for this. This is definitely a tiny bit light, but I can make it work. And for the foundation, I have it in shade PLN050. So this foundation is so beautiful. It leaves such a natural glow to your skin. And I, even though I powder, I powder all of my foundations, it still leaves a beautiful glow. And I truly enjoy it. It does wear very well throughout the day. Every time I wear this, uh, and I wore it recently, I like I literally tell myself, why don't I pick that up more often? And the main reason is because I have too many foundations, that's why. But I definitely do enjoy this. And then when I use the concealer with it, it just, it's a great combo. It is a great combo. This one is lightweight and um, it does have kind of like a uh, moussey whipped up kind of, it reminds me of the Beauty Blender, but I think I enjoy this one more than that one. I just feel like these two together go very well and Joa Beauty did a tremendous job. If you didn't know, um, Joa, it's like a sister or like a branch from Kiss. The lash company and i i've been meaning to pick up more of their products because i was impressed when i reviewed both of these products so joa you can find joa i believe at cbs 
a good, good combo. They did a really good job with these. Okay, and now for the last combo, but certainly not least, it is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation, which is a fairly new release, and the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. These together are a match made in heaven. This foundation is beautiful. I absolutely love this. You already know this, probably because of my prior foundation ranking video. I love this. It wears beautifully. It feels great on my skin. It perfects my skin. The undertones are a tiny bit eh, but it just performance wise, oh, gorgeous. Now the concealer, same thing. It wears beautifully. It's super lightweight. It blends nice. It does not make my under eyes look crappy. It just leaves my under eyes looking so smooth. This, this, this together. I love it. I love it. And every time I wear it, I'm just, I love the way my complexion looks. I do own the Makeup Forever Water Tone Skin Tint, and I also really enjoy that. And now I have the concealer to pair that with as well. But for now, um, these two, because these, I have tried these together plenty of times, as you could tell, I have loved this. For this foundation, I have it in the shade 2N26, but I can also wear 2N22. This one is just a tiny, in like the tiniest bit, too dark for me right now. And for the concealer, this is in shade 30. Um, I could probably go like one shade darker in this, um, but I can make both of these work. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this list of makeup brands that just hit it out of the park when it comes to the foundation and the concealer. Sometimes you find a holy grail, for example, like a foundation that you absolutely love, you wear every single day, and you don't want to put anything else on your face, but for some reason, you just don't enjoy the concealer that the makeup brand, that foundation is from has to offer. Well, these are products that I adore, both the concealer and the foundation that they have to offer. Every single time I wear these together, I honestly love how my complexion works. And if you're like me and sometimes feel like when you pick up a makeup product, you wanna make sure that you pick up um, like say I pick up the Kosas foundation, I feel obligated to pick up the concealer and wear them together. Are you like that? I'm like that, I know. I don't know what it is, but I'm like that. <laughs> let me know if you're like that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the list. And let me know if any of these combos you actually really adore as well. I would love to know. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I hope you enjoyed the video. With that being said, I would love it if you gave this video a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it, and you would definitely help me out in the algorithm of hopefully bringing some new and fresh eyes to my channel. And if you haven't done so already, I would love it if you joined my small YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button. I would love to have you. All right, guys, I will see you on the next video. Bye.